to arms, all of you. This is this is what you want to see, guys. Uh, great swords. Because that's exact. That's that is exactly what we're gonna see, I suppose. Damn. Great swords. Do I want to play here? How do we manage this? He needs to have stuff dead. I don't know how to do this. How do we win against great swords? Any theories? I'm not terribly experienced uh, with this matchup as an X-Men or as a great sword. I kind of liked the great swords a little bit more when they were the OP deck I knew about but nobody played. But I didn't play it because it was boring. But now they're quite popular. Easiest loss of your life? DDoS him? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Maybe he's like a bear. I'm playing your shoop deck, 9% VR rate, but I never win against Scary Sword. Yeah, that's basically my experience as well. <laughs> so what? Should I pound it Except or? not never, but like very rarely. You need you need to be very tricky to be, win against Great Sword, like, or you need to get lucky, like charming a Great Sword, something like that. Dares face me? Mm. That's somewhat unusual. Crack, what are you up to? You need cheer for great swords and luck and card advantage. Sounds good. Oh yeah, Shiru is definitely a good uh, addition. But other than Shiru, I don't know. And Shiru could make other matchups more difficult. So you have to make that decision. Like, do I want to run Shiru actually? He's very quick to act. Oh. He goes for the RNG weather counter. And he gets a carryover. Great. Behold the goddess's wrath! Now he's strengthening the carryover he randomly got. Cool, cool, cool. What's this on one? Maybe he has an Igni too. Hopefully not. What have you been up to? Haven't seen you in a while. Oh yeah. Well, I was partially playing Pillars of Eternity too. Uh, that's the. It's kind of the last few days. Also not terribly interested in Gwent. Like there's not much new going on in Gwent, I suppose. I also got a thing. Whoa, great swords? Wow! Unbelievable! He actually has those. Crazy. I 
I'm still kind of at the point where I'm thinking like, what can I do in addition to Gwent uh, on this channel? If he runs Warcryers on Juta, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he does. Actually, that will be at least uh, some somewhat different. Maybe move the ship. Unfortunately, I don't have a spy I can uh, throw in. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. So I probably should play this guy, the Moon Pirate Captain. Just play games and comment. You shan't get three. Yeah, that's basically that's the dream that I can just like play whatever I want and uh, comment on it. And to a to some of you, that's gonna be amazing. That that's gonna be exactly what you want, and I love that. Uh, but if I want to reach a bigger audience, not not saying that I really uh, chase that, but a lot of people care about actually doing well or just uh, I don't know like uh, playing something that uh, they care about, like for example Fortnite. I don't know. Like, it just, it, it kind of feels bad when I, for example, like, stream Fortnite and, like, and it's basic, chat is basically dead. I could be just playing it by myself and not comment whatsoever. But I'm having a lot of fun in the Pillars of Dirt 2. I'm not streaming it, but I might stream it. I'm thinking of maybe streaming it. Uh, not the current run. Uh, but perhaps I will finish the game and then go for another run. I don't know how that would work. I, I don't personally watch guys who uh, plays, uh, play games that way. Partially because I just wanna... Well, I'm not the guy who... Well, I wanna keep up with the series I'm watching. So I wouldn't want, wouldn't just uh, like not see what happens for like a few hours and just uh, keep watching after that. I want to see uh, like the entire journey if if I'm committing to the the series. That, that's why I like games like for example Gwent are really good because you know it's just like one match to one match and one match and you don't have to keep up with the story. Like for example, like uh, like imagine like playing The Witcher. Like uh, of course, like some people for some people like just tuning it at any time will be fine, but others might want to uh, watch it from start to finish or I don't know. Even like playing it from start to finish is kind of crazy, but uh, you kind of get that my points. Yeah, stream it. Actually, uh, Poet 2 has a bit bit of a technical issue, but it's not too big. I think we might need to play Darren here. I don't know if any of you are playing that, uh, but uh, yeah, it has a memory leak in it, and I would recommend. Uh, like restarting the game uh, from time to time because not only the performance uh, will be worse and worse eventually, but the game might crash. It actually crashed on me, and uh, it was using 1% uh, CPU and memory, and uh, the load times were like three minutes uh, just to load an area. Uh, well, usually not three minutes. It just it was kind of crazy. Uh, I don't know what to do. We shall do it my way. I'm gonna just hit the doggy.
Seriously, none of you play Pillars of Eternity 2? I mean, I understand, like, not playing, like, uh, games that weren't ridiculously popular, like, for example, Torment Tides of Numenera, uh, the game I played, and, uh, well, I, I suppose I'm more of an RPG guy myself. I, I do like RPGs a lot. Uh, Torment Tides of Numenera, I'm not really sure why I'm bringing up the game. Well, kind of reason is that, like, it's not really widely received as, like, a really good game. But I personally loved it myself. So, I think I've just gotta move the guy... You've sailed into troubled waters, mate. ...in the middle. Clemens die move. So can we take out this, uh, I mean, <laughs> greatsword guy? Because right now it seems it might work. He did steal Darren, but that actually sucks quite a bit. <laughs> and it might just cost us the game. Do I want to play an X-Men in the middle? I don't know. I can also play and get out the Demon Corsair. What the hell is that? Am I need to be concerned about that? This is the first time I'm seeing this horse. Inconceivable, impossible, Siri thought, returning to her senses. Unicorns don't exist. Not anymore. Not in this world. Unit unicorns are extinct. That's, that's exactly my thought, Siri. Maybe they intentionally made it a piece of crap card, so you think that unicorns are, are don't exist, but sometimes you actually see it, and it's like, wow, lower, it blows my mind. Is it gonna, is it gonna heal it up? I think he might. Oh crap, I need to hurry actually. What do you need? Um I guess I just have to kill it. Just, it probably play played it for a reason. Come on, this is uh, ranked. Friend Didn't just uh mistakenly put it in the deck. Your YouTube series of new games are great. Ah, thanks. I suppose it's gotta be a hit or miss, like, uh... Like, it's not gonna be for everybody, but I just feel like, you know, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I, I actually love, uh, like, talking over my games and, like, uh, getting more into the game, like, role-playing it. Uh... I, I actually didn't know that I, I was gonna so into it. I was gonna be so into it uh, when I started. It, it just honestly it started in a way that you know what Th this looks fun. I want to do it. Sailed into troubled waters. Uh, then uh, the game that uh, actually turned out to be the most memorable for me uh, this way is uh, Planscape Torment. I played uh, Planscape Torment uh, Torment for the first time, and it's a very text-heavy game. Uh, and uh, when I, well, not the oh, first time, I tried to play Planscape Torment in the past, and I just got bored with it. But when I replayed, uh, well, not, not replayed Planscape Torment, because I, in the past, when I first played it, I spent like, I don't know, like two hours playing the game, and I just lost interest. But when I played it as a Let's Play, I, I finished the whole thing, and it was the it was one of the most memorable uh, role playing experience I had. Anyway, GG Clemens die move. Great swords have no chance, especially if they run dumb horses. Apparently, with Yuanas. Oh look at that alchemy! Uh, let's kick that. This elo has bad players. What a two. Don't hold it against them. 
Well... CDPR says that I belong here. This is what happens if you climb to Grandmaster and... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You lose half your MMR, then try to climb up. Huh, that was not in the spell but lose your half, half, half your MMR again. Oh, actually, uh, burn the resurrect. That's interesting. So, uh, let's just kick the Veiler. <clears throat> regarding my uh oh that's interesting uh regarding my uh like i suppose style i always want to improve upon it if if i can like I definitely wanna want the want the video or just the the experience to feel like uh, uh, like enthusiastic or I suppose enthusiastic is probably the word for it because like if I like playing a game then uh, probably the commentary should reflect that so I suppose the most important part is that. Uh, the commentary should very much uh, reflect the thoughts and uh, the feelings of the commentator, I suppose. But also, it really shouldn't like uh, go overboard and, and I, I suppose, in a way, be fake. Uh, by uh, I guess we all know those guys who are just like start all the videos like, "What's up, guys? Woo!" YouTube video! Here we go! That's exact. That's, that's not my uh, goal. <laughs> Whatsoever. Also, it's a bit of a dilemma. Like, even when I play, like, uh, Gwent here, is that... Uh, when I, like, think of crazy things, do, do I just be more analytical? Or do I just be more silly? Like, it, it's always like a trade-off. Like, you can't have uh, both. At the same time, it's always a bit of a trade-off. Like, what are you going for? Nice intro? Exactly. Yeah, that is why I watch you. Sometimes I feel like I was like too uh, analytical and it just feels feels like I, I was, it was boring. Rarely I feel like I was too silly. But yeah, sometimes I feel like I, I may have been too silly. And, and the experience can be just pointless. Don't do that again, my ears. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. I watch Gwen streamers for analytical gameplay. It is why I only watch you now. Ah, uh, wow. Shin Miri too now. Not sure how I called him Shiru. More analytical. Just be yourself, Adam. It's fine. I can't watch hysterical streamers for more than 20, uh, 30 seconds. Yeah. Wow, that's actually pretty good for us. Hmm, I guess I gotta play the... Maybe I'm gonna do uh, Darren. Blood! Blood everywhere! Shiru too? Squirtel everywhere? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's, it started with Shi. So, dirty. I'm like, that guy is Shiru for sure. But I know, know the guy.
Okay, let's just go with the ship. No drama. Just interesting decks, pro plays, and uh, a Drax smoothing, uh, suiting voice. Uh, yeah. He also talks to chat all turn. I, I basically do that too. If anything, I, I got flagged for it because you guys tell me sometimes that damn, I'm talking too much and, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm not paying attention to the plays. Actually, in the YouTube videos, sometimes people just point out like I've, that I'm running my mouth whole turn, that I make a decision in like five seconds. Have you nothing better to do? Uh, guys, better tell them like they are wrong, right? Oh, I, actually, I made a mistake there. Who said you're talking too much? I will ban them. <laughs> the way I see it, it, I think the most important thing is that it's it's lighthearted and fun. Uh, yeah, that's it. And on top of that, it can be like uh, it could be like uh, good gameplay and analytical. That that's. That's definitely very nice, but I think that's uh, that's a bonus. He's talking too much, but it's fine. Whoa! Drake, that's that's impossible. <laughs> One point to Darik. He is here. Um, yeah. It could feel like I'm talking too much, but I I definitely wanna focus on. Uh, it's time. Like, whoa! What the hell? Extending the land round against X Men. Like talking about what I think about. I think that's key to uh, an engaging video or stream, or whatever. I could just be silent, looking at my phone, perhaps listening to some music. Let the music uh, be the entertainer. Hey, as you saw. What do I do now? Maybe we're gonna do a uh, Baylor. What is this guy up to? Play your thinning card, I guess. Will he shut down the weather? Sometimes I've had what? Both of them locked. It's <laughs> bull crap. He's trying to bleed, but he will never get the card back. The problem here is that he could be stronger in a in a short round, and also. Yeah, he's definitely trying to mail some cards. Shillard, Avalok, and of course, Stregobor twice. But it's not gonna work out that well against my deck. And gold pairs in blood. So OK. 
Okay, he's down two cards. Round three. He may have a one point Cantarella, but wouldn't he play it right now? He probably would. So if I kick back something, we either get the Veiler or Sigrifa. This is fine. We can start with Ragnarok. You damn haters. Mule is basically Jesus. You love Mule? <laughs> I don't know. People hated Mule so much that they removed the whole archetype. That's crazy. That's the biggest injustice. Uh, I live to serve. Okay. After what happened to... Do I want to pick that one? Is it going to kill me? What happened to the close beat the spies? That were awesome. May more John Freya watch us and keep us. <laughs> Time to get our hands dirty. Okay. Strike a board, Udarek. What? No, 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 no. Ox. What do I get out? Maybe we get out an X-Men. That's eight points, plus has two armor, and goes up to eleven right away. <laughs> Looks good. Injustice to Mion, there's no such thing. <laughs> I don't say that necessarily we have to have Mion, but I would like to see something, some effect like we have in Hearthstone that like, uh, you play a card and the top of your opponent's, uh, top card in your opponent's deck get burned. Something like that. I don't even know what card I'm talking about in Hearthstone because mm. I don't I follow Hearthstone you. that much right now. But yeah. Sometime, some kind of gnome chick that, that's in Warlock. My problem with mail is that they take max time with every move and get uh, two oats. <laughs> yeah, they can definitely ex uh, make the... Uh, well, it's a very polarized deck. It it's either crushes you or you crush it. And uh, the match tends to uh, be longer. But I would like to see some kind of burn effects that, you know, like you burn down the top card. I'm not saying that's the main strategy and that's how you win, but I would like to see cards like that. Just to punish greediness. So be it. There needs to be a counter to alter the index. Yeah, exactly. Is this a new angle? The yes. pipe is new? Uh, I guess. I pushed around the table a little bit. Wait, what? Is he gonna resurrect Avalok? I think he will. Create the silver unit from your opponent's starting deck. We're gonna play this. I shall do as you call. And put in... What exactly? 
Well, obviously, I want to put in my stuff. So, we can put in this guy. And, uh... Maybe this guy. I'm ready for that other lock you're gonna play. I should do what I must. <laughs> Seeing Gwen doesn't update for months, everything. You is great. More pipes, please. Sorry, only one pipe at a time. Gnome Ferratu is the Hearthstone uh, card you were uh, thinking of. Ah, oh, thanks for that. Also, uh, King Tobacco. So, we can replay that guy, but we don't want to. We got a bad case of rowers back. So, will he play an, an, an Avalok, as we suspected? Hey guys. Hmm. An interesting choice. Well, that's not the best. But he's dead. GG!